Hello there. It's me, Janet Gartney, a.k.a. Lunatic Loomer. Okay, today I am going to be showing you uh, how to make this cornucopia as a uh, means, uh, what do you call it? They call it the horn of harvest. All right, and the thing is, uh, I have made several fruits and vegetables. You can make all kinds of stuff, but I could have made a whole grocery store if I wanted to. But the, here is my, uh, what do you call it, this gourd, like a squash gourd, you know? And uh, this is the little pumpkin. This is the apple. Okay. See that? And then I made this uh, yellow squash. A little yellow squash. And I made some grapes. Little nice little grapes. Little miniature grapes. Everything is so small. And then I made a pear. And uh, then the carrot, a little miniature carrot. See how little it is, so cute. And then I made the cornucopia. And but when I said what the cornucopia meaning is, um, it's actually the uh, horn of plenty. Okay, horn of plenty. I'm thinking about Thanksgiving harvest and all that. So I don't know why I said the um. You know, horn of harvest and the horn of plenty. It's, I guess it means the same. But here is the thing that I have made for it. And has this little curly at the end to make it look fuller. So, what we do, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started on how to make these little things. So, you can have one for your. Thanksgiving uh, decoration at the table or whatever you want and just make sure you don't light any matches or anything around there and we will move all of this out of the way okay so here it is this is the pattern for the cornucopia all the way down here now this uh, row 30 is you guys have to follow me on this thing that we can understand it because I do not know how to write the pattern for that but I'm going to bring this up close that way y'all can uh, pause the video and you can do it without watching the tutorial but the thing is I'm not going to be doing this whole thing uh, it's very simple very basic for all the people who are experienced this is a uh, this is an experienced tutorial, okay, for experience only. So I mean, uh, I'm sure, most of us out there already knows how to work with patterns. So here is the few steps. There's one to thirteen there, and I'm gonna bring it up some more. And there's the rest of it, okay. So you all can. Uh, freeze a camera or a screenshot or whatever you need to do to do the pattern because um, like I said I'm not gonna do this whole thing what I am going to do is this on row 30 that way you know what I'm um, what I'm doing so before I had started everything I had um, taken all the rubber bands off this is the same one that I worked with so I took all these rubber bands off here so I can show you what row 30 is, okay? So this is basic, you know, like a giant ice cream cone or a giant hat or an elf hat, depending on how big you want to make it, whatever you want to make this out of. I also did this to make this curl up. What I did is I stuck, I got one rubber band and I go from here, on whatever side you, you know, doesn't matter. You put it right, kind of like, right, maybe about six rows from this end. 
go all the way up and you want to go straight through put your hook through there like that and I got a rubber band and I pulled out in and out out through here and I pulled it and then I went back through this little hole here and came down here and then went through there again here with that rubber band on it that pulled both rubber bands down like this and I come out and I tie it put it just like that so basically this is just to hold this up and you don't have to do it if you don't want to but that's what makes the uh, thing here okay so here I am I'm gonna go ahead and show you what row 30 is okay the last row so what we do is just get this hook I'm going to do the next stitch and I'm going to go to every stitch all the way around you just grab one band and you're going to twist it just one time hold on to it it's the same thing as I made my ladybug tutorial the bumblebee tutorial you're just making these little curlies so you're pretty much aware how to do it but you wrap it around the hook you take another band and you want to pull through keep this one out on the hook you want to pull all the way through leaving one out up here then you take that and pull all the way out it's just really simple just go into the next one and you double loop it just like that I mean just one time you get another band just make sure there's one band right here pulled back and you're going to go through all of this put this up here and then you're going to come out with those two see I get this loop it around and I take this here pull all the way out like this and then come out with both of those just like that I think I need a little more lighting in here it looks pretty dark but loop that around I won't have to go through the whole thing but just want to give you guys an idea of what I did at the last on the last row just to give you an idea how to do it you see how all these little curlies coming up so again one more time you take this and you loop it around one time like that get another band make sure there's one back here hold on to that and pull up and then go through it again just like that so that's what you basically is going to be doing all the way around with uh, 54 stitches here you just want to make the curly to go all around so that way it has an extra full a fuller look on it okay so that's basically what you're going to be doing here okay okay now we're gonna make the grapes all right and we have to make 16 little balls these are all the little balls here See how all this made. I have all this here. I have to make one more. I'm going to do the tutorial with y'all. And then when we get through, when we tie them off, we got to keep these out. Okay, don't don't stick them in there. Just keep them all open. Keep them all out because we're going to be using these. So we can, um, you know, t uh, put them together. And I will show you how to do that. Okay, so... Just make sure you keep these out when you get through with them. Okay, so um, I'm going to make the... I'm going to make one more. And this is how you do it. Is that you're just going to be making a magic ring of five. And you just increase it to ten. And all you're going to do is one single uh, crochet ten times. I mean, ten single crochet. Sorry. 
and then the last row is just going to be making four rows. Then you decrease it back down to five and get it in there somewhere and just start tying it off. And uh, I will show you how to make the stem. That's when we get to putting it, the grapes together and we'll be making the stem. But don't make that now. You have to do it when we get through with this. And then when we get through there, we'll put it the that onto here, okay? So anyway, so what I did is I just simple. Y'all could just uh, stop the video if you want. You know how to do it. Most of y'all do. Um, I'm just going to do the last little one that I need to make. So I'm making a uh, magic ring of five right now. So it's basically only four rows that we're going to do. Just simple. Just need to make 16 of them. All right, 16 little balls that make it look like a, a real uh, thing of grapes. Okay. All right. In my next row, I'm going to be decreasing it. I'm going to decrease it. So it's going to be, by the time I get done, it will have 10. I mean, not decrease. What am I saying? Increase. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Bloopers, bloopers. Okay, here we go. One, two, And then, yeah, I'm just, I did, I have 10 on here. So now I'm just going to do a single crochet 10 all around. So, just put some over here. And we'll be doing single crochet all around. And then our last row, after we get done with this one, we're going to go down to decrease, okay? We're going to decrease them, so just go inside the loop only, go inside the loop to make the decrease. And when you get through, you'll have five bands left. So we're going to go decrease all the way around on each one. Just go inside the loop. And then when we get through, all we have to do is tie it off on when we get through with this row here. Like that. Okay, 
So what we do when I tie it off, I take this right here and I just stick it through one here. After I get through and I tie it off right here, right? I'm just going to stick it in right about right around here, like the third one. Okay. And slide all the way through. What we do is just pull out. Don't pull too hard, but you know, pull that down. And then you have these little things. Okay. So you make 10 of those. I mean, uh, 16 is what you need to make. So everybody should be done with that. And we should have 16 of them. So we have all 16. See, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, and 16. See? So what we're going to do is we're going to have one of these here put it onto this okay so we're gonna have this here we'll take this put it through here and pull through just like that see so anyway that's how you do it you hold on to that get the next one and just pull it through here I do it one by one, so I don't want to, you know, mess it all up. So I, I'm putting it all on one, all on one band, okay, on the same, that one grape. So that takes this off, puts this, this through here, pull that through, hold on to this, take this. Pull on through. Just go all of it on all the grapes. The same thing. I never tried it with two. Depend on how many you can go through here. But you could probably put about three here and then just go through all of them. Like that. Pull through. Pull through. Hold on to it. Put a couple more on here. Take this. Make sure you don't let go. Well, that one. Okay. Pull through here. Pull through there. holding on to it okay now by the time you have five left when you have five of these left it's getting short it's getting too short see and it's going to be getting too short so what we do take this take this here okay and go through here like this. One. Okay, and one of my rubber bands came out. Let me put that there. I'm not sure where to go. don't know where it is.
Hold on to that. X's. Okay, so now we just got all that on there. By the time we get through here, we just fix it all up to, to make it look like the grapes hanging down off the vine or whatever. Okay, so now what we'll do is grab down here. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have it like this. See? What you want to do is grab this under here, the top one, like that. And then we're going to start on the stem. We're going to chain 15 for the stem. Okay? So what we do is take this, double loop this like that. Go around. Take this, pull it through. And that'll make the stem inside. Stick this here, do it again. Two. Three. You gotta fix it all up when you get through. Three. Four, six, seven, eight. I'm trying to fix it up. I'm not getting what I did earlier. Pull all these around. I don't know what happened to my grape. Okay, you don't. You're just going to make 10. Uh, 10. So, I'm sorry about that. Let's go ahead and chain 10. We got this already long enough. See? Just like that. So, we take this. The 10th, this is the 10th band. The 10th, number 10. Pull this out. Like that. You want to tie it. And then you want to go ahead and put them through here. So, basically, go all the way down. So, basically, that's what you have. And then you, what you do is you just work with it, work with it, and pull this out, pull this down a little bit, and then you have just some grapes. Just like that. Might be a little gap there, pull some here. Turn this around over a little. And see. There you go.
And there you have it. You got you some grapes. Okay. Now we're going to do some apples. Apple, apple, apple. Alright. So this is the basic pattern also. Very, very simple. And y'all can just uh, freeze the cat video and or uh, screenshot so that way y'all can uh, have the pattern as you go. And down here I have the stem and then I have the leaf, which is brown and green. And um, this is just what it is right here, this red apple. And I put this stem and this for the leaf, like that. So this is the red one and you can make it green. Today I'm going to make mine, I'm going to make a green apple. Okay, so I'll have a red and a green apple. Anyways, I do not know how many times I will say apple. Alright, so if y'all want to know how many times I said apple, then you could just uh, rewind it and see how many times I said that, that, that word. Apple. Okay, here we go. Now this is the green that I'm going to use for the Granny Smith apple. Alrighty. Now... I'm going to go with this magic ring of six. That's what we're going to start off with. It's, it's a lot of fun to make these apples. Very, very simple. So, like I said, I dare you guys rewind the video and see how many times I say apple. So anyway, here is the magic ring of six. Apples are very sweet. <laughs> They're very delicious. You can have apple pie. Alrighty. Now one, two, three. Did I do six? One, two, three, four, five. I thought I was done. I need one more. Well, I forgot how to count. Well, get in there. Okay, our next row is going to be the increase. So we're going to do increase all the way around. So come out with 12. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we are doing an increase on each one. Not uh, agreeing with me today here. There we go. Let's get on the road. So I'm doing an increase all the way around. What are you doing? Phone call. Can you answer it? Trying to get it, trying to get it out of my pocket. Hello.
Okay. We do a single crochet and an increase for 18. Okay, so we're going to be doing single crochet. And then the next loop is going to be the increase. So we're going to do that all the way around. Single crochet and increase. Have an increase. Keep on going all the way around. Single crochet. And then an increase. Pulling all that concrete is. He's probably going to have your leg in a brace. Single. Increase. Okay, I'm done with that row. Whew, taking a while to get it done. Now this one is a long one, right here. Two single crochets and an increase, okay? Yeah, they bag it. They bag it. One. Two. Then there's an increase on the next one. And we're going to go two singles again. And next one, two more singles. Like that. And then we're gonna do an increase. Oh, that's weird. Man, do that in one way. Two singles. One. Two. And then increase. And we got two more singles. And the increase. Two more single. Increase.
Okay, now our next row. Our very next row is going to be four rows of single crochet 24. So I'm going to do that and we'll come back and we'll just do the rest of this. Okay, so whoops, uh, hit the camera. All right, now this is what we should be done with four rows, okay, of 24. Okay, now what we're going to do is just two single crochet and you're going to be, de we're going to be decreasing. So, two single crochet and then a decrease. So, this is two single crochet here. And then we're going to decrease. So, what you do is just take the bottom one towards you, take both of them out like that, pull out through, and that'll be your decrease. Again, we do two more single crochet. Alright, and this will be two. And then we do a decrease. Take it from the inside. And that's through there. There we go. Now we can two more single crochet. And then a decrease. Like that. Single crochet. And then we have a decrease. Huh? Same out. These band this apple is gonna be a little big. It's because I don't know how these bands got, but they're big. All of them are. I've never used them. And they are so huge. And they're making this apple a different size. This is my regular band from the Rainbow Loom band. I got this from another place. And it's, uh, I don't know, but this band is really small compared to these two. It don't look the same. It looks like it's really bigger. Maybe not. Okay, anyways, let's just go to the decrease. And then we have two single crochet. One, two. And then we go down to a decrease again. Take it out here like this. And we'll do two more single. And on the last two will be your decrease on the last one. Okay, so we pretty much got that going. Next row will be just a single crochet and a decrease. So we're going to do that one right here. And it'll go down to 12. And then after that, we'll start stuffing the uh, apple. Okay, so now we're just doing a single, one single crochet, and then a decrease, okay? So that's a decrease here. Single, and then we'll decrease it. And I have a single. Make sure it's on the right one. Then the decrease. And we have another one. 
Dios cinco. And then we have a decrease. Single. Decrease. Have another single. Okay, and now we need to start stuffing. Uh, don't have them. Be right back. I gotta go get my stuffing. Okay, come back. I got my stuffing. I will just grab a little bit here. Yeah, I don't want to overstuff it because then you'll start seeing white stuff coming out of the apple. So it's just really just, you know, just lightly stuff. Like that. Just, just, you know, not so much. See? Okay, now on the next row. I believe it will be our last row. It's going to be the decrease. And you do that, okay? So just do that. I'm going to be decreasing it all the way around. I have a decrease here. These rubber bands are pretty long. They really are big. See you know how big they are? I don't think I like this green. But I wanted to use it for the candy apple. I mean, not candy apple. Uh, Granny Smith apple. But, gosh. I'm going to take some stuffing out. I don't like the way this green band's doing. Look what it's doing to my apple. Not good. Not good at all. Over here it's not like that. But over here it is. But these bands are really, are really uh, big. They really are. It's too big. I like the way they're doing. So much for the apple tutorial, but anyways, these are the patterns. Make sure your bands are not so big. See, they're too big. See what it does? It had too many gaps in there. Look at that. It's horrible. I didn't like that at all. I gotta do one more decrease if I can get my t get it in there. I'm having a hard time. The decrease. <laughs> okay. Now I know as we're gonna have to tie it. How I want to tie it, but it expects so much out of it. Anyways, so just tie this like this. And this is going to be the bottom of the apple. <laughs> but I'm going to fix this down here in the bottom later on. I'm going to fix it. But anyways, so we'll pull this through here. 
get to tie this uh, band. Now you can use this uh, to, for the apple. See? It's better. For me, I have to. Because I don't like the way that is. I don't like that top. Maybe if I fix it a little bit. Yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and start at the top. Okay, I'll just take these little two here. Alright, so now, um, here's the stem. It's pretty it's easy, so you get the brown one, any kind of brown, and start right, just pull it in the middle, and get some brown over here. Double, ah, come back here. I had it on the wrong thing. Alrighty, put that back over there and get it from the middle. I'm going to go right in the middle. See that? I'm going to put it in the middle. That way it go right in the center. I put one here and one here and put them together. See that? Okay. So we take this brand. Just loop it one time around, pull it through here, like that, see, and you only need five bands, okay, five, um, chain, chain of five, so don't pull on your apple too much, just hold it down as you go. That's three. I don't like where I have it at. So anyways, it's going to be a chain of five. So pause the video. I'm trying to find the middle of my apple. And I'm not going to, okay. I'm just going to use one. I, I think two is probably not going to work. I forgot how I did it. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now we just get one more band and just tie it off like this. And come out like that. Have a little apple, green apple. And we hide the bands here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the the leaf. I do it differently. I kind of like the way I did it because it's a little different. Not so complicated. So I'm going to do a chain of 15. So what I did is here. Where I put this, where I had put the uh, stitch right here for the brown. I'm going to go through that same one, okay, and I'm going to use a different kind of green for my leaf to show up better, and we're going to do chain 15, 15, so I'll show you how I do it. It looks weird, but trust me, so that's one. Three. Four. 
four. Five. Seven, eight, ten, eleven. Well, <clears throat> almost made a boo boo. Twelve. Thirteen, what? Fourteen, and finally, oh, fifteen. Okay, let's get this and tie this. Now what we do, take this here, I'm going to fold this in half, fold it in half like this, make sure it's straight, see, fold it in half, go down, just like that, see, so what we do is go into the first one that we did here, okay, and when you fold this down, straight down, like that, what we're going to do is get this little thing here, slide all the way through, just like that, see? And then we take this, and we're going to do, like we're going to sew it together. What we do here, on this side down, so, we get the inside here like this, one of these, whatever rows that you're comfortable with, so you can close them up together. I go like the second row up. So I put it from the inside, kind of hard, and then make sure it's straight across, you count up. Just... Oh, this is hard. Very hard, but anyway, wasn't hard before, but it is now my, my hand hurts a lot. Okay, see here, I take this here, and I'll pull through both of them all the way across, just like that. came out. Okay. There. Take this here. Hold on to this. Just hold on to that, okay? And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So if you want, you can get a stitch marker. Wherever mine is at. Here it is. We'll get a stitch marker and put it right here. Okay. Now, we go from here. Do the same thing on the other side. And 
you could go diagonal if you like, or straight across. My, oh, sorry, got off the camera. Anyways, I put it through here. I'm gonna take this little thing here. Pull through. Like that. See? You hold this here. Pull through right around the top. Just like this. That way we can close this up at the top. We have to get another band. And we're going to pull through out all of them all the way down. And into the other one, okay? And we're going to tie this here, like this. See? And that makes the leaf. That's the, basically how I make it. I thought that was kind of easy instead of doing it the other way. And then, all you have to do is just take this. And just hide it, okay? So. Okay, so I tucked all that in. Inside the leaf back here. And this is the little apple. Little green apple. And this little one, there's kind of two different sides. So we got a Granny Smith apple here. It's more like a cherry or a tomato, but it's not. It's supposed to be an apple. It was a little bent down here earlier. We got to just bent it a little bit. Shape it up, making an apple. Uh, that's that. Now, we're on the verge. We're gonna go ahead and make the pumpkin. Oh, goodness gracious. Everything's falling all over the place. Alright. Now, I made the pumpkin and the squash. The same thing. The, um, the gourd. Like a squash, kind of like. And, um, that's what this is. That's what I did here. And, I didn't go through all that hard stuff. All I did was just the, um, rubber band. I, um, got a rubber band. Like this. Uh right here see when I was going all the way around I'm trying to make six I held this rubber band here for a while just to make its shape and once it's got its shape like this once it's got the shape that you want then you can go ahead and take this rubber band off just like that or you can leave them on Either way, either or. If you think it's going to lose its shape. But pretty much now, it's already has its shape. You do it yourself. And you have your little pumpkin. It shapes itself because I have this on real tight. Same thing here. I'm going to take them off. Cause it's already got a shape there, see? So you want to leave them on overnight. That way, it'll... <laughs> or you could just go ahead and leave them on. Like I said, you have your choice. So, this is what mine is. See? So I kept it overnight and it kind of like formed a shape. Because I had it 
the rubber band real tight around it. Real, real tight. Okay. But I can show you how to make the pumpkin. It's very, very easy. I don't have to really do the tutorial. I just want to show you my pattern on video. Okay, because uh, this is what it's going to turn out to be like. Alright, so at the end, like I said, it's going to be round. But at the end, when you get through, you um, tie it off and everything. And then here, you're going to put the stem right here. Whatever color you want. Brown. Chain five only. Just chain it five. That's all you do. Like that. And then you just hide the uh, the rest of the band. See? And I made a white one. And then put green. Like a little green there. See? So. You could put four or five. Depending on how how tall you want it. Okay, this looks like I did four. That's the short one. And this is five. Okay. I got to fix the band a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so when I got through with all this here, when I got through, I got these bands. This is already stretched out, but... And all I did was just uh, kind of like... Put it over the little circle. Like this. And I got another white band. Put it on. Try to make it like a... Like that. And I put this one on. And then I just look at the band, see how they are, and I kind of fix them up a little bit. And I left it on for so it could form a shape, so I left it a day or two. Okay? So, once it's got that, like I said, I'm taking mine off. I only did it to, to keep the, the, the hold in the shape. So, that's it. So, that's it for the video for the pumpkin. And here is the pattern for the pumpkin and the gourd, the white one. So, this is all you do. It's simple, simple, basic pattern. Okay? So, that is for the pumpkin. Okay. Now, we have the next one. It's the yellow squash. And this is what this is. The little yellow squash. To make the squash. Okay. So. You. As you. Go with these little patterns. I wrote. Stuff as you go. Lightly. Don't want to over stuff it. Just want to keep it not too round. Just kind of. Make them over like. You know, I didn't put a lot of stuffing in it. And this is the pattern. I show my pattern on video. I don't go through online or anything like that. I don't know how to do it, but I'll learn it someday. Okay. But for now, I just do tutorial. And I'm just showing you my pattern on my YouTube channel. Okay. So, this is the pattern for the squat. Very, very simple. Like I said, this is a intermediate um, crochet. People who know how to crochet. So, and the basic crochet is by, if you want to learn how to do that, you have to go to Kate's Skull. And uh, I will put in the link for y'all. So, in case you don't know how to do it pattern but this is the pattern for the squash okay so that's it for that okay and then let's see the next one is the carrot now let me find my carrot 
wherever is that it's hiding from me here is the carrot okay now <laughs> I'm not gonna go do the tutorial I'm just to show you how to do it so this is the carrot the little carrot that I made And then three stems. Put on the stems. See. Very simple. Very easy to do. So this is the pattern. For the carrot. Very simple. Okay. And now when you make the stem. I made three stems. And I chained six. And what I did is. I went in the middle. And I chained one on six. And then the next two that I did is I used this, this one stem and then I went and I did the bottom part of the stem. I went down to the bottom just like this, like that, the bottom of the stem. And then that's when I did the uh, chain. Of six, you know. So all I did was double loop this here. I just double loop it. Just like that. And I pull through. And I make six chain. On one stem. After you make one stem, you use these other two. You put it onto that one stem. Okay, don't put it on the carrot. The first one will be onto the carrot. But the, these two here. Is on this stem. I hope y'all understand. Okay. Um, I, I've been crocheting a lot. And I have. A uh, couple turn off. And it's starting to hurt a lot. And I can't. Uh, crochet a whole bunch of stuff. You know. Can't do it again. So that's why I'm showing you my pattern. Of how to do it. So I'm basically it's very simple. Alright. And then the next, the last one is the pear. See, the pear is so, so easy. Just like the rest of them. And this is the pattern for the pear. See how, how it's all done? And it has four rows of single crochet. Now, on this row, you go single crochet, two single crochet, two single crochet, and then a single crochet. And then one more time, two single crochet. So that's what you need to go in the order for the pair. I'm doing it because it forms the shape of the pair, you know. So you have to do it like that. Single crochet, two single, two single, single crochet, two single. And then you do it again. And then it comes out to 16. You do it twice like that. Okay, all the way around. That's what you do here. And then, like I said, the rest is single crochet 16, four rows. And you just keep going all the way down till you get here. Okay, that's a simple thing. And on the pair, see how it forms the shape of the pair. It starts to shape in here and it comes out. That's what that would do. All that. So. And then when you're done. The stem. You get brown. And you just chain four. For the stem. And you just stick it in the middle. And center it. You know. Center the top. And then you just do that. You know. Chain of four. And then you have yourself a pair. You could squish it. Don't put a whole lot of stuffing in it. Don't want to make it really tight. But you get this here. And you push down on it. It forms the shape of the pair. And there you go. And that's your pair. So. Now we have it all. It's all done. This is all the vegetables. We did everything, put everything together. We have the pumpkin here, 
We've done the grapes. See the grapes. And then we just the uh, gourd. And an apple. Alright. So that's all since the vegetable. And then you just decorate the way you want to just decorate your uh cornucopia the uh horn thing here. And you just put it the way you want. You can put an apple in there and you can put this here if you want. Maybe stick the grape inside or whatever. Just like that. Have that come out like that. Let's like see where the grape is. And your apple. And then you know they're supposed to be <laughs> they all fall out. Anyway, just get them all as just as the way you can. Stick whatever you want in there. I'm going to get this done. Here we go. Okay, so that's what I stuffed in here a little. And then just decorated all around. Just put all these things like they all fall falling out here. You know, all the vegetables. Stick them all around. It's just squash. Decorate it the way you want to. And there's how I have it. See? This is a concordia. The... So I hope you enjoyed making all the stuff and showing you the tutorial. And showing you my pattern and everything else. And um, thanks for watching.